And every lesson I get, I try to get inside the head of the person that I'm working with. Um, and, and when I do that, I, I uncover a lot of things that are, that are myths. One of the most common things is that people, some players think that the golf swing is straight back and straight through, where, they're, where they're, literally there's a line on the ground and that club is supposed to be swung straight up and straight down. Um, and that could be uh, no further from the truth. Because we're standing on the inside of the ball, there's naturally going to be an arc to the swing. Okay? It's going to be kind of like a door that's opening and closing. And depending on the length of the club, uh, that will have an influence. A putter will swing the most straight back and straight through because the shaft angle is the most vertical and is closest to the ball uh, as opposed to the driver will be the longest club so it will naturally be swung uh, on a flatter plane. Now you don't have to do anything in your swing uh, to do that, just the club will naturally swing that way. But what happens, and this to me is almost is the hardest thing to correct, is when people get into this straight back swinging, it, it becomes very difficult. Here's a, num here's a couple things that happen. Number one, when you try to swing the club straight back, you don't get any turn and your shoulders begin to to tilt. Okay, so now when our shoulders tilt, we get our weight going forward. The second thing that happens would be the club face is excessively closed coming back. Okay, so now what now if it comes through, we got to spend our whole downswing trying to get it to open. So it becomes this what we call a rocking on the back swing and a blocking on the follow through. And what we want to do uh, to fix that is is going to be let the club face naturally swing on its arc. It, instead of it being straight back and straight through, we're going to get the feeling of trying to get our shoulders and arms to let that club get a little bit open coming back and a little bit closed coming through. It's just going to be a natural swing. I'm not rolling it, but I'm not holding it down underneath. It's just going to naturally go from this somewhat of a, a toe up position back through to a uh, somewhat of a toe position. So it's just like a closing door. And what happens when I fix this, and this frustrates people, and sometimes uh, they don't get it, and, and, uh, and they think that the information is incorrect, is what they've done in the past is to go straight back and straight through, their weight goes forward, and then they spend the whole downswing falling back. As soon as we get them to, to make this proper swing, they instantly start topping the ball and can't get down to the bottom of their swing because they're so used to, they can't get this motion out of it. And you can see and this is that lifting motion. So uh, it's probably one of the most common things uh, that I see among people uh, where they're trying to swing it straight back and straight through. But what you want to try to do would be get yourself into a better posture position and just understand that the club is swinging on an arc. It's just going inside, down the line, back to the inside. Um, work on that and try to get that what we call this rocking motion where the club comes back really straight and really closed and then on the downswing comes through and then you're going to fall back and you're trying to keep the face from opening. Uh, work on the rocking and blocking motion and uh, I think it will help you play a lot better.